But let's go ahead and go into a different side of topic. And and this is about Adam Fuller and, and Florida State's defense. You know, Jamie Robinson is is going to the senior bowl and and going into the NFL draft at this point. He's he's been one of the focal points for Florida State's defense for last season. He had almost a hundred tackles last year, was a guy that Florida State really relied on. Now he's gone. So you're having to replace him. And all this defense, like Fabian Lovett, Jared Burst, and guys like that are coming back. Um, do you think there is a possibility that that defense of Adam Fuller's can be top 10 for this year? Uh, yes, I, I really do think this defense can be a top 10 defense this coming up year. So I think um, the addresses they made in the uh, transfer portal mm -hmm. with adding some more defensive line depth, you know, getting some more um, DBs, you know, and – I see. I, I'm curious to see what they do as far as the linebacker situation. Mm -hmm. You know whether they take uh, another transfer portal linebacker because you know they they uh, just took the the kid from Texas. There. You know, so yeah, exactly. So I'm I'm just curious to see what they do as far as the linebacker room. But I do think we have enough pieces to be a top ten defense next year. Yeah, and I kind of wonder about that linebacker room as well because if Blake Nicholson wasn't a summer enrollee and maybe he enrolled during the spring. Maybe it might be a little different mindset that you have. But now that, you know, he's coming in the summer, you know, you got DeMarco Ward that's trying to get up to speed here in, in a little bit. And you got Dylan Brown-Turner that's uh, going into the summer as well. You know, you really don't know. But they did add a really good piece in Ventrell Cypress, the Virginia cornerback transfer. I think that was huge to be able to get him because now you're kind of able to have that cornerback room a little bit more special. I mean, Jerry and Jones is still an afterthought to some people, you know, because everybody talked about and all those guys in there. But what happens at the safety position, I think, is the biggest thing. And I also – and that's a very good point, bro, mm -hmm. and, I, and I didn't even think about that. And also – um. I'll say this too, like even with the schedule, I think the schedule kind of pan out, you know, yeah. to where we should, you know, kind of, you know, dominate this schedule a little bit. So yeah. uh, that's another thing that I think you have to, you know, consider when you talk about, you know, top 10 defense, top 10 offense and all that type of stuff. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm curious to see what it's going to be. This year. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. So coming on that defense and everything, like, throughout this season, you know that Jared Burst is coming back. You know Patrick Payton's still there. You know Derek McClendon's there. You know Gilbert Edmonds there. And some other pieces are there. Who do you think is going to be the starting two defensive ends right there? Do you think it's going to be a Burst and a Payton with that, or do you think it's going to be kind of a wild card and we're going to have to kind of figure out what's going on? You put me on the spot. <laughs> That's a good question. I love it, though. I love it, Santa. So, ooh. Man, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, oh, obviously, verse on one side. Yeah. Oh man, it's like, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Patrick Payne. I'm gonna go Patrick Payne. You know, because you know he, that's my guy. I like Patrick. I agree. And we had a previous video that we were talking about with his number change going from 56 to 11. Does that foreshadow something? I'm not saying he's the next Jermaine Johnson because he's going to be his own type of guy. You know, he's going to be the next Patrick Payton. But at the end of the day, man, that that's pretty scary when you think about it, a full year of development with him and getting back into the swing of things. You know, if he's able to get into that starting role and being able to stay there, because you even saw last year with Derek McClendon and him kind of splitting reps a little bit there. Will that happen again this year? Will the coaching staff understand? And maybe Patrick Payton has a huge year. Maybe Derek McClendon has a big year or even a Gilbert Edmond. You know, you have to kind of look at some of those guys. And I think that's very important to kind of look at. Right. And you said it best, man. Like they were splitting reps. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? They were splitting reps. It almost looked like it was 50 50, especially in the uh, Oklahoma game. It seemed like they have, you know, two defensive end, one drive, and then the next drive. It seemed like they kept rotating. So, I think he really, you know, they'll get, a, you know, everybody get a ton of reps, you know.